Public Works employees. Okay. All right. It's the SEA. There's other legal jargon. The SEIU local 1984. But basically, these are our Public Works folks. There are 33 members of this unit. Um, and again, this group um, is a three-year agreement, 333 over the three years. There are some language changes with regard to some hours. We did add an uh, a, a, a education thing with this group, but we focused on this program called the um, Road Scholar. And what Road Scholar is is uh, specific training that people achieve in order to better take care of our highways, safety issues, that type of stuff. We had a couple of highest level, what's called Master Road Scholar, um, and those folks, several of those folks are retiring. One tonight, Mr. Swift is retiring, was a Road Scholar. Um, so this is an incentive program to have other employees uh, increase their training, increase their knowledge that will benefit the town. These are um, individual stipends based on whether or not they hit uh, Road Scholar 1, 2, Senior, or Master. Um, it's 300, 450, 600, or 12. They are not cumulative. It's, it's as you climb the ladder, it goes to that next one. Same thing on the insurance that we did with the others, Cadillac tax, the opt-out provision, the transfer of uh, uh, folks to the new prescription plan. Uh, we also equalized some language with regard to bereavement leave that was absent from their contract. The niece and nephew was added. Uh, it's present in others. And we increased a boot allowance. Previously, it was $150 a year that they were eligible to have reimbursement for boots. Um, we've increased that to 300 and done some language so that we can deal with uh, boots that they're required to have at work. For instance, steel toe. That's one of the issues we dealt with. The standard is for steel toe, but there are certain functions that folks do that they're going to allow, based on director's rules, <coughs> to not be steel toe but still be reimbursable. You know, if you're driving a plow truck all night long, you're not out of the plow truck, you don't necessarily need the steel toe boots, things like that, that they'll deal with by policy. When you're in a risk, it'll be a steel toe, but for some of the other functions, if you're in this, you know, the, 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 we see folks at the transfer station on the weekend that sit there and look at you as you come in and check your stickers and make sure you're doing the right thing. They may not necessarily need to wear those, but if they're in the field, they do. So we're going to let them deal with that. Mr. Chairman, if I can move this warrant article for $60,679. Is that right, Jamie? For the first year. Yeah. Or just do as you did with the other Tim, as written. That would be fine. I'm about to do that. Excellent. And ask that it be considered read as written. Thank you, Tim. I'll Second seconded by Mr. Henderson. Seconded. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm ready to vote no on this for the same reason okay, hold, as the last. Hold on. Barbara, did you get that? Tim moved it, Tim, and uh, Mr. Henderson yes. seconded. All right. Any, um, you have comments, Steve? Yeah, my comment's going to be similar to the last one. This is another group of uh, underpaid employees in this town. who work very hard. They're the guys that pick up the garbage. They sh sh do the streets. They uh, do the hot top, and they take care of a lot of the work. Hard working group. Uh, they've been out of contract for a few years, and uh, it's time these guys get paid uh, what they deserve. So I believe uh, I will certainly vote yes on the uh, public works, gentlemen. Okay. Um, and Regina, you wanted to add something? I have a question for Jamie. Mm -hmm. When was how, the last time they got the contract passed? Uh, this is the, they failed last year as well, so okay. they're here now. And they're the 33 people versus 25 Correct. and 13. Correct. And I want to say one thing on the firefighters. You know, the town didn't think it too generous. The fire officers, I'm sorry. The town didn't think it too generous last year when they voted yes on the firefighters. So to this day, I'm still baffled why the officers got voted no. And I also don't understand why all our town employees aren't getting the raises that they deserve. Because like with the in infrastructure of the town, without the two, we will not exist. So I really hope that people consider these. Look at the money and then also look at what you get from the service that the people provide. Are you, are you finished? Um, I'm good. Thank you very much. Jenny, go ahead. I'm sorry, I have to counter that, is we all appreciate the work that the public, em public employees do, but we also have to consider the taxpayer and what they've been getting for raises and what they can afford to live in this town. We unfortunately are in an aged population. The aged population is not getting 3%, 3%, 3%. Medicare got 2%, uh, Social Security got 2%, 2, 2, 1.9 was taken by Medicare. So people in here are not voting because they don't think the employees deserve it. They're voting because they, their wallets can't afford it, and that's why a lot of people are doing it. So I think that everyone, everyone values our employees. It's just the ability to pay of the taxpayer Good point. on some of those people. Good point. Thank you, Jenny. Anybody? Uh, Sonny. Yeah. All right. 
The contract covers 71 people. How many more employees? The contract, this contract covers oh, 30 people. Is, I added the three contracts. That's 71 union employees in the town. Mm -hmm. How many non-union employees? That's what I'm trying to say. Uh -oh. You have to get you the total number. Okay. I mean, there are two other unions that have folks, and then there's non-union employees. There's numerous part-time yeah. people. All right, I'd like it. Oh, well, sure. Okay. I got to send it to. Understood. Yeah. And as well, Sonny, you have the school district people that are running. Yeah, the, that's well, different well, unions. Well, that, that's in there. That's different. That's a, that's not going to be. Yeah. Jamie won't have those numbers. So, if you send that to me, I'll make sure that I send it oh, out to sure. everybody. The other and thing I noticed. Uh, Somewhere I read the state's concern that 70 percent of state employees are double dippers and they're trying to work some legislation through to limit the... There are a number of pieces of legislation. There's one in particular that's before uh, uh, the legislature right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All set, Sonny? Yep. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Henderson? Yeah, just brief. I agree, Jenny, what you're talking about as far as the increases. On the other side, though, all right, if we're talking 333, but we're not talking about what they've given up, you know. There's other things in here that they've had to give up. So it's not really 333. What have they given up, you know? So it's really less than 333. When you see what they've given up, if it's medical, if it's more money they're paying for prescriptions or co-pays, et cetera. So in their pocket, it's not a 333. Hold on, Jenny. Really? Don't, don't, be, just, That's don't be just cutting back and forth. Oh, uh, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Are you finished, Steve? I'm done. Okay. Did you want to say something? I just want to say, see that at, at the worst of what they've given up, and some of these people haven't even hit. So, you know, I think that's a lot of times we blame the taxpayers because they don't vote for things they can't. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. And, oh, yeah, there is one other thing, if I may, that, that was just triggered in my head. I, I missed, ahead. I didn't identify in the fire officers, in addition to the other items I told you. They have agreed to contribute more towards their health insurance, uh, as happened with the firefighters. That's included in the TA as well. They will begin paying um, more towards their health insurance. It's one percent, and then another half a percent over the two years. So, uh, it's my fault for neglecting to indicate that. Okay, thank you for. Well, we're talking about SE. I see how you uh, right now. I'm and, just uh, trying to be clear. So I understand that. Informed. I just want to be yeah. clear that what, what I'm talking about now is that. And you know, Mr. Henderson brings up an interesting point in what they're giving up. They give up their health insurance because they have a, a better health insurance plan somewhere else. And they get, a, they get a stipend for giving it up. So they actually get paid for giving it up, for getting a better plan. So I don't think that's giving up something. But I'll tell you, the people that Jenny was talking about, when they give up something, there's nothing there behind them. <laughs> All right? Their prescriptions go up, and guess what? They, they bear every penny of that. They don't, they don't take the and their prescriptions are numerous Yes, Those because are of the rate. So and you're talking about many years of 0% increase in, in Social Security. It, it, it's, in my opinion, I shared with Jenny. Jenny and I don't agree on a lot of things, but <laughs> on this we agree. And yeah. from my point of view... You know, when I look at this, one of the perspectives I take on all these votes is those really old people that are really on the precipice of being self-sustaining or not. You know, one more dollar might put them over the top and they can no longer, you know, support themselves or independent living. You know, and there's always those people there. You know, you just wonder how many you lose every year because they're always very, you never hear about them because they're silent. They just kind of disappear. You know, but they're, they're real people. Yes, thank you, Tim. Now, of course, we can have a discussion all night about uh, society, but, you know, that's, life is... I'm talking about being sensitive to all people. We have to be sensitive to everyone. Thank you. Did, um, is that it for this conversation? I hope so. Okay. Um, all those in favor of recommending this, please raise your hands. And we have um, everybody on this side, all the way over to Steve Henderson. Those against? <laughs> Those against? I'm, I'm not joining Jenny on the vote, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Barbara, you know. Barbara, the nays are David and Mr. Jones again. I think we're done.